Hi, my name's Scott Eldridge. I'm a senior shareholder at the law firm Berg, Simpson, Eldridge, Hirsch, and Jardine. The reason I'm speaking to you today is earlier this month I spoke before the Food and Drug Administration's conference on power morselation. I'd like to talk to you today about what power morselation is and why my firm is so interested and active in this project. Power morselation is a process that was first invented in the early 1990s as a device to remove either a uterus or fibroids in women. We've learned that approximately 600,000 women a year undergo this procedure. Now before this procedure came about, fibroids were removed and hysterectomies were performed using either a traditional open process where the abdomen is opened up and the tissue and tumors are removed in their entirety, or it's done through a laparoscopic procedure through much smaller incisions. Power morselation is a very different process. Morselation removes the tumors, or I should say removes the uterus and removes the fibroids, by shredding the tissue. The Food and Drug Administration has recognized, as have the manufacturers of the morselation devices, that this can unintentionally spread cancer. Approximately one out of every 350 women in the United States have what are known as occult, undiagnosed and undiagnosable tumors. Now, if their fibroids or if their uterus is removed in its entirety, there's no damage to the woman. But with the morselation process that we've talked about here, the tumor is shredded, it's spread throughout the abdomen, often resulting, almost always resulting, in a dramatic upstaging of a woman's cancer from stage one to stage four cancer. Stage one being localized, stage four being metastatic or spread throughout the body. Food and Drug Administration is considering banning the use of morselation devices. When I spoke before the FDA, I recommended that these products be banned. Not long ago, Ethicon, which is a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, one of the largest drug companies in the world, has suspended not only production of morselation devices, but they've now instituted a worldwide recall of calling these products back. If you have had your uterus removed or fibroids removed and later then been diagnosed with cancer and have now found out that your procedure was done via morselation instead of a total abdominal hysterectomy or a traditional laparoscopic procedure and then later been diagnosed with cancer, stage 2, stage 3, or stage 4 cancer, please contact our firm. There's a strong chance that your cancer has been caused by this power morselation device we're investigating these claims, and I think we might be able to help you.